Already it's time for Ryan's Roses. Joanna, thanks for coming on in Camarillo. Uh, we want to get into your email here and then try and find out what's happening in your relationship. So you noticed a charge of a hotel room on your credit card statement last month. Neither yeah. of you knew where it came from, right? And then you called the credit card company. What'd you find out? So I asked him about it right when I saw the charge, and he seemed to be just as upset as I was. You know, he was like, what the hell is this? Almost as if he was accusing me of cheating. And so we called the credit card company. We disputed the charge. Clearly, someone was using our credit card number. And so we went through this whole process of canceling our cards, getting new ones, changing the number on Amazon, all the websites, all the auto pays. It was really a hassle. And so two days ago, I get the email from the bank with a photo of the receipt from the hotel, and his signature is on it. So mm. we know he's lying to me. And it's obviously a very elaborate lie, but I want to know what's going on here, and I need you to help me find out. Well, we're into that. I mean, that's what we do here with Ryan's Roses. Uh, have you ever thought that your husband might be seeing someone else? Is this something that, like, crosses your mind? I mean, now it's been crossing my mind, that now that the thought is there. Um, but I've never caught him in a lie like this. You know, I've had suspicions, but I've never caught him red-handed like this. Okay. Well, hang on one second. How long have you been married, Joanna? We've been married for four years. Um, we're in Ryan's Roses right now. Uh, Joanna is married, and she says, in her email, she told us that she noticed the charge of a hotel room on her credit card statement last month. She said she nor her husband knew where it came from, so they called the credit card company and had them take it off. Then she says, they just sent me a copy of the receipt with his signature on it. So he's lying. He knows he signed for it. So why is he lying about a hotel room charge? Doesn't paint a beautiful picture here. No, it does so not. Joanna, we're gonna call him now and see if we can find out, see who's top of mind when we offer him some roses. And I need you to say, Ryan, you've my permission to call and then his name, go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call we're going to do it right now. Be very quiet. Let's see what we can find out. And good luck. Okay, Joanna? Thank you. It's Ryan's Roses right now. Hello? Hi, is this Oscar? You got him. Hi, Oscar. My name is Cindy. I'm calling from The Kind Florist. We actually deliver in Camarillo and surrounding areas, and today we're offering a promotion of a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. They're absolutely free. I don't need cash or any sort of info from you. We're just doing a promotion for local residents. So is there anybody that you'd like to send these red roses to? <laughs> no, no, not really. This, honestly, this sounds like quite the scam. Well, if you, it'll take two seconds. I don't, like I said, I don't need cash. I don't need any sort of information from you. Um, just the name of the person you want to send them to. No, no, I'm not interested. Thank you. You are have you a sure there's day, no uh, there's nobody you. in your life like you don't have anybody you want to send free roses to. Look, have a good day. Take me off your list, please. I excuse apologize. Me. You have a it's, great day. Excuse me, your voice is being broadcast on the radio, Oscar. My name is Ryan. I've got Sisney and Tanya here, and we have your wife Joanna on the phone. Oscar, we know that you stayed in a hotel room. It was charged to your credit card. You said you didn't know anything about it. We know that you do because you signed the receipt. Oscar, we're just calling to find out with your wife on the line why you're lying about this hotel charge and, Oscar, who you are with that night in the hotel. Could you answer that? I don't understand what's going on here. Oscar, we're just trying to find out why you're lying to your wife, Joanna, about staying in a hotel room overnight. I'm not lying about anything. But Joanna, do you want to tell your husband what you found and what the credit card company sent you? Yeah, yeah. Um, the credit card company sent me a copy of the receipt with your signature on it. Why did you lie to me? My signature? That's impossible. I didn't lie about anything. But I see Wait, your what, signature what? right here, the Ambrose Hotel. I know your signature. There is no way that's my signature. I'm telling you, I've never been there. Look, this must be a part of it. Let, let's use our brains for a second. Come on. Like, if obviously, if the whoever got a hold of my credit card or whatever got an image of it, obviously my signature is on the back of it. So 
Maybe that's how they forged my signature or something. Oh, so this no. is fraud. It's definitely fraud. I don't know what else to tell you. Babe, look, you put me on the radio here. So you've really never been there to that hotel? I've never been there. I don't understand. We already talked about this. Like, why okay, am I even then, on the radio right now? Then let's just ask another question. If that's true and that's the case, Joanna, why do you think your husband's cheating on you? Why are you having that feeling? What's going on? Because he was so accusatory in the beginning, making it seem like it was my fault. Why would it be? Why would I be the one cheating? I'm not cheating. It, it, it was as if he was putting it on me. And now I'm questioning every time he comes home late from work. Oscar, are you cheating? No, I'm not cheating. Do you love your wife? We even talked about this. I, I don't understand. This is this is this is ridiculous. All right. Well, there's something missing, right? There's something yeah, missing. Yeah. Is, is the love here. still there? Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I, love, I, I love him. All right. Well, why don't you take that love that you have for him and you, Oscar, for her and talk about why we're here? Like, why are we here right now, all of us? All right. I'm going to let you go and good luck. I don't think he's lying, guys. I don't think he's hmm. lying. I'm just wondering why she's thinking that he's cheating on